Okay, Flynn, you're my favorite, but you weren't going to get on the table today. What happened, man? Hmm? Maybe did you grow up into a teenager now? Hmm? Yours kind of have a slight ear infection color. Um, doesn't feel like there's a lot of brushing going on right now. There's lots of tight curly stuff going on, so we're going to take it down just a tad bit and more than usual. This is matted here, around the face. Brushing every day is so essential. I cannot, I cannot, uh, I know if you've watched my channel a minute, but you, you hear me say it. You want to have a dog that has curls, you have to brush every day, like it's an everyday thing. Because it's hard on him, um, the amount of work I have to do or a groomer has to do. All right, so let's get started. We're going to take this down. There's mats on the tail area, high knee. Um, yeah, so we're taking we're taking it right under the curl. See, it's getting matted here. The tightness of the poodle hair is gonna. T if you're not brushing it, all it does is get wet and tight, wet and tight. Look at you can see every curl. Let me show you. If you don't brush this regularly, you're gonna see every curl its own curl. Look at this. Its own curl. So this needs you have to brush. Some breeds you're gonna have to brush every day, so it's just what it is. So as much as we love to do the guard cut here, that would take way too long in our in our little company here. Okay. Not much I can do. So I'm taking, I'm using a seven today. And today is a pretty busy day. And so I guess tomorrow morning we're gonna wake up and have like 30 degree weather. That's gonna be interesting. Here in Texas, it's crazy. We don't get that very often. See, this is all matted even with the seven, so. I just can't say like enough. This is my favorite, one of my favorite dogs to groom, and you just, man, you can't reiterate enough how much you need to brush every day, yeah. Okay, so much to it so much to the situation will come down I'll try to remember the camera you guys So Flynn usually jumps right on the table for me. Today he, I had to get help. He's a pretty big boy and he didn't want to get on the table. Um, I honestly think he went from adolescence to teenager the last couple months. <laughs> you know how a teenager's like, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna get up there for you. We'll see though, we'll see how, how everything changes in time here. Lightning is kind of worse on that side now, but A lot of matting here. It's not about upset, being upset that the dog's getting matted. It's just about, man, I wish we could just leave it longer, you know? Um, and the, I, I may be going pretty swiftly, but 
mats are a bit more dangerous cutting. Like all this is matted now underneath. Some of you folks out there are dematting. That's fine. Take all the time you want to demat. Unfortunately, we don't do that here. We we are designed to be done with your animal in about an hour or so. So, see, this shouldn't come off like that. It should not be matted. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand up here so I can get a good look what's going on here. He's gotten so big, if you guys go back and look at the first videos of our grooming, um, he's gotten so tall. So I got him on my lift table. Um, so I'm not gonna bend my back too much, but if I need to maneuver a little bit more, I can bring him up, you know. So don't bend over too much. All this down here, I'm gonna raise them up and then do that at eye, more eye level. It's nice and pretty uh, underneath here, so that's good. It's really mad you're gonna to have to come back with your 10 make sure it's safe safer well, than with the seven so I'll come back come over here son. I'll come back with the 10 up under this all this area that's matted here it's a little safer if I case I hit a wrinkle or something It's all knotted in there. Dang it.
No, no. Check your blade. Doing good. Switch out to a ten. So we do teddy bear feet, if you've seen uh, the seven just coming straight down, straight down on the feet. I'm going to do a 10 where it's all matted in here, down the face. This is safer for me. See, I can't even get my 10 through there, so definitely not brushing in that position there. Okay, hold on, buddy. Brushing is so important. Look at this huge mat, okay? I'm gonna save that. Get up under the armpit here. Some of y'all have some really hard times with the armpits. You just watch that skin flap and just go front and back. You know, just don't get that skin into the, um, go the opposite direction of how the skin looks. Like, obviously, like a piece of paper will go right in here. The skin under the armpit could go right in there. Go, go at this angle then, you know? Go at this angle. Okay, here we go. The dog could squat, this would be it right here. Watch your head here, you never know. It doesn't matter if you know the dog or not.
Let me look at you. You looking at me, Flynn? I know, I get so personal with you, man. I have to touch every body part. Sometimes you have to go cross body, so I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna lift this leg and do this little scoop right here, but and he's he's a boy, so you know all animals can hike their legs, so this is not out of position. Okay, good, baby. And then here you can kind of come into this other side here and do a cross. And my hand's not heavy on the tin, so you you. You know, sometimes you get the hair too short. Well, if you don't do it heavy, you'll be fine. Real light, like barely just skimming the hair into my clippers. Lift all that up. Watch your forehead. A dog can bite your forehead at any time. It doesn't matter if you know the dog or not. If they don't like something, they're going to let you know somehow. And, you know, honestly, dogs don't laugh. So if something tickles, they might not come out as a laugh. Might come out like, what? I don't like that. Boop. Got ya. I still got my tin, but it's just like hand scissoring. So I just came down like this. Boom, boom, boom. Because even though he's a poodle mix, we don't, you don't necessarily, if a lady asks me, you know, should I, how, my dog hates the clean feet. And I'm like, honestly, if it, this is my opinion, if you're not showing the dog and you don't care and it's a cute haircut, there's some mass in here, I'm taking these out. And the dog doesn't like clean feet, skip it, do teddy bear feet. Why not? They're going to have to come back in for grooming again anyway, over and over. So why? And why make the dog just miserable when it comes in for grooming by always doing it? See, he doesn't even like this. If I had to do clean feet, it'd be over, man. Let me get those mats out of there. Let me get the mats, Flynn. Flynn, Flynn, Flynn. Flynn, Flynn, Flynn. Let me just get those little mats out of there. Hmm. All these are matted. Can you guys even see this? Not that part. It's all matted in his ears and this is, I don't know what to say, man. This is all matted. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm doing. Trying to save something or what. Two guard down and I'm going to see, I'm probably going to have to take a 10 down under, you know, under some of these mats at the end of the ear here because the two will not go through, but Not cool, man. It's not cool. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, ma'am. I really don't like it. I don't know how to help it either. Whole bottom of the tip of the ear and everything's all. This is a whole huge mat. Back here. So sorry. It's all tangled up in there too, huh? Uh, I don't know, maybe if I'll show you guys later, the skin's very irritated for the, from the matting. See if this ear, this ear's not like that ear. Later it would be, but not as bad as that ear, so I can still go back clean up with a seven. Let's do a seven all over head to toe today. So everything stays at least proportional. So seven on the ears, watch all your skin flaps. Come back with a 10 on those. As much as I can. We're gonna try something like four guard reverse. On the head here, see if I can save something. I'm going to do that and I'm going to try four guard down this way. What's up, Teddy? You look like a mess over there. No haircut, and I was like, oh, no, no, no. We cannot, no, we can't do that. <laughs> okay, 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 let me see. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Please. You're not looking over here. Let me see. Let me see. You got all this stuff on your, your face. Okay, tail. So today's a, a, not as bad as, you know, some of those really matted dogs, but we do have mats everywhere. A little bit everywhere. Definitely, definitely slows the groomer down. And I'm just sharing with you because you guys might not know, you know, you might not be able to tell through the video. So I'm just sharing. It is what it is. Okay. We're gonna have you stand up. Stand up, baby. Stay there. Stay up for me. I'm barely gonna go all the way up to his torso, but if he goes to sit down, it'll be up under there. We need to get all the mats out. So I'm just gonna go 10 all the way up underneath. From the skin out, right? You can't tell here. You can tell here uh, from the skin. The whole line of them underneath the tail here. The whole tail, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where? David's trying to be smart over there, man. What? 
Okay. So I'm taking the whole, all the mats out with my tin under the tail, all the way to the, oh, you got a crack in your tail? Oh, okay. Out of here, see. So now I took out. Look at this whole line. All this is matted, all the way down. Tail is very sensitive. I'm not going to demat it. I'm going to try to hide everything and let it grow back out and tell pet parents we need to be brushing. That's all I can do. I'm going to bring this up short, anticipating that it might happen again. Very important to be brushing now. Maybe that's why I don't have a poodle. <laughs> I don't have time. I'm too busy. Even conditioner. Brush some here. Okay, we're back on track. Keep in mind, if you have fleas, I don't know how you guys are handling it where you guys are at, but we have flea charges. And we only have two dogs here right now. One that we worked in on our busy day here, but if you don't have a process or a program to care for fleas in your facility, I challenge you to get one. And um, it's serious. Flea eggs can last three years without three years without hatching. So, just because you saw that flea doesn't mean everything you shaved off where those flea eggs, what, you know, all those things that come into play when you're working with animals that come in with fleas. I'm gonna do everything in my power that this guy's standing next to that guy, you know, which I know many, many, many groom shops, including where I learned how to groom, have tables next to tables next to tables. So this is just me showing you my world just imagine these other groom shops where they're doing 20, 30 dogs a day or more and your dog's uh, in a cage next to another dog that has fleas for, you know, five hours or six hours or they're being blow dried with all that, everything in the coat's being blow dried across the entire room. So here I make the call, well, like that dog, we're not going to blow dry Teddy because I'm not going to chance it. Even if we did flea shampoo, you just, there's no, nothing's 100% ever. So now you have to take all the preventative measures so this guy doesn't go home with fleas. So it's really important that you are on a flea preventative and even then that flea preventative honestly is not 100% either. You have to watch your dog and inspect. Teddy came in, they didn't say anything about fleas. He's a white dog and he hardly has, a, he has this really weird hair that you can see right through to the skin. I roughed him in and I thought I saw something move. Mm, didn't really see it, you know, like didn't really see it. I thought I saw something and I was like, uh, I looked at the hair, I watched it, didn't move and I was like, hmm, Flynn is so good. Um, I, I feel, I know he's here, the presence, I feel him, so. Um, didn't, I personally didn't see it to pick off a flea and panic there. David was like, he's got fleas! And so we have this like, our own personal panic button, so you, you heard him run out here, he's got fleas! My thing is like, okay, you have to have flea charges because now I have to do a lot more than just say, oh, he's got fleas. We stopped everything, sprayed everything, 
sprayed the trash, sprayed the, you know, everything. Flea shampoo is very expensive. He's now getting a flea bath. We're not going to blow dry. We have to safeguard other pets, so it's pretty expensive. Um, but I hope that, uh, I challenge you, if, you don't, if you're a groomer and you have a salon or a mobile unit and you have flea issues, let me know. Or you don't know how to do it, let me know. If you, you might need a muzzle if he has an ear infection. Um, he's got to pull a lot of your hair out. I saw it already and it's really, it's infected ear. Uh, which we've briefed mom on that already. Um, so anyways, a lot going on. Let me try to finish Flynn up. Look this way. You can see this huge knot right here. Look at this. Those of you that don't want to do the ear hair, really? You're going to leave this in there? Look at that. No, no, no. You got to get that out of there. That color of maroon in the ears means there's light infection starting to happen. And this is my opinion. I'm not a veterinarian, but I've been doing this quite a while. See, this one looks a lot better. No, no, let me see, let me see. Let me see here. See, I do the non-locking hemostats, and if I had a locking, I, I think I tried locking one time, and if you clamp onto the wrong thing, let me tell you, you're not gonna get those hemostats back for a minute, and it's gonna be very painful on the animal, so. That is why I choose non-locking. Some of the groomers, I mean, you, the groomers that don't have a video camera yet, they'll actually um, take their locking, this is what I was told, they'll take their locking one and go lock it and then twist all the hair and pull it all out at once. I don't do that. I do little, little, little by little. It seems to me if you do little, little, little by little, even on the nails, even on the ears, it's more, it's less painful than doing all at once. Flush this to, to the ears today. Oh yeah. Let me shake your head. Let me shake. Let me shake your head a little bit. Let me shake your head a little bit. What can you guys see? this right here. Oh, this is wet anyway. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. It's going into the mouth, you know what I mean? Clean this up a bit. What's he doing back there, huh? He's whimpering. Probably cleaning his ear because it was nasty. Mmm, so pretty.
Look this way. Look this way. Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, here we go on the wrap up. We've uh, finished our bath and everything. And we're just going over again with the seven. Touch up everything that came up, fluttered up from the blow drying. Oh gosh, it's so soft. I just love it now. So different from before, you know, before the bath and stuff. So not a lot of detail work. Uh, most of it's already been done, which is great. I just want to kind of catch up with some of the flurries. Plugged in really far away today. I don't really like it. It's just thank you very much. Let me move this this way. You're so smart, man.
Huh? Uh, credit. It would be a debit card. There you go. What's that? Great. But now I'm just going to wrap it up with a two. Two reverse. So I don't keep taking more off, but I am tidying everything up. Let me see. Let me see. They like that teddy bear face, so we continue kind of doing that. It's going to be a little shorter today. changing things around to be more efficient. Sometimes you gotta go through the learning processes. I am constantly changing stuff to be more efficient. No, 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 no. No, no, I know it tickles. Uh -uh, no, but no one's hurting you. No one's hurting you. So you just relax, let me get it all. Let me see, Flynn, Flynn. No, no, don't get mad. No, no, no. I'm still going to get it. See? I'm still going to get it what I need to get. There we 
go. Hold on. Good boy. Thank you. So you got to check in between the toes. Look at this big mat in there. And there's another one all in between the toes. So check your dogs in between the toes. Gorgeous. You're looking gorgeous if you ask me. You're looking gorgeous, yes. Let me check your chin. Pretty boy. That's pretty boy. Yes, it is. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We'll get some little cologne. Today we're doing Island Breeze cologne, right? The next client will be here any minute, so we need to kind of move faster. I'm actually feeling like I'm moving slow today. Okay. Hey, yeah. Hey, look at that pretty face. Look at that pretty face. Look at that pretty face. Yeah, it's a pretty face. Hey, look at your eyes. Hi, love you. I just love you. Look at your face. <laughs> okay, so one question I want to answer real fast because his coat was so soft and see if anything was coming in. So some of you all are, have bought the, um, I'll tell you this, just, just go in steps. Uh, I have a client who was like, I, already ha I have my own shampoo. Uh, so I said, well, go ahead and try it. I want to finish my own shampoo, which is fine. I w and I love you. I want to hear, you, you know, I'm stumbling. So I hear you always say about the pet silk shampoo that I use, right? And uh, how much I love it and how much I feel like it affects their coats and stuff. And I said, well, just take it in stride. You know, finish out your shampoo. If you want to go and start right now and get the conditioner, start incorporating it and then if you start with one or the other and you don't like it then you just finish it off and you, if you get a 16 ounce versus a gallon then you finish your 16 ounce and you don't have to use it anymore however I have not had one person write me and say I don't like it I want nothing I don't I want something else okay so they have a uh, on my website the pet silk shampoo it comes in a 16 ounce you can do rosemary if you have issues with skin and stuff like that you can do uh, the tearless shampoo for the face only um, it's an option or tearless or tearless puppy shampoo you can do for the whole body on a puppy there's no scent to that one the pet silk shampoo and conditioner we have it in two different sets um, with three the gallons two gallons and the pet silk cologne um, 16 ounces the shampoo the conditioner and the, the pet silk cologne and then we also have like the 16 ounce just shampoo and conditioner so you can try it out right if you own him the reason why you do the gallon if you own him you're going to buy shampoo on a 16 ounce bottle like every other month because I would use a 16 ounce bottle, probably half of it in one, one bath with him. So go with the gallon if you have a really big dog or if you have multiple dogs, go with the gallon. And then you can start with your shampoo first and then if you really like it, then get the conditioner. The conditioner will ask you double the amount of the shampoo because you just use a little less. You don't need a lot of conditioner. You use a little less and then do it together, shampoo and shampoo, rinse, lather, and then do, do the conditioner right then. Otherwise you're gonna be rinsing for a long time. Um, that's how I do it anyway. And some folks are like, do you, will it? It does, it, 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 something happens when you do the shampoo and the conditioner. And then I actually still some still when I'm brushing use that the stuff the leave-in conditioner in my favorite spray bottle doing all three of those things it leaves the coat enormously soft like it's just so cotton soft and Lynn you're just love you I just adore you um, so I think personally because I've been doing this a long time I've done the really cheap shampoos I've done the really expensive shampoos this to me is kind of an expensive one but it on a price margin for shoppers it's very comparable to all these other ones out there so you're gonna save money if you get the gallon that's the way I would go 
if you have a large dog. And then 16 ounce if you want to try it out. You'll, you'll smell and love the shampoo, but you won't get, I think, double impact, which is like a two week scent. Like my dogs will smell like, two weeks later, we're still smelling them. As a matter of fact, my dogs were, our, our dogs were out in the rain and you know how dogs have that funky smell, rainy smell? Oh yeah, David was like, smell Faith. And I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like you just bathed her. It wasn't a fishy smell at that point. It was, it just came back. It got a little wet and it came back. The smell of pet silk shampoo came back. It's so delicious. There is, um, I want to say a couple other ones like aloe vera and stuff like that on our website. I could, could be naming it off wrong, but if you have pets that have issues, maybe you can't do that the smell, you know, the strong smell, or maybe the human can't do the smell. I can't do a lot of really strong fake smells. I can do my oils, doTERRA oils and stuff like that, but I can't do a lot of fake smells. My system won't like it. I'll get all clammed up. But the Pet Silk Shampoo doesn't bother me. Um, I just, just adore, I just love it. It smells so delicious. And they come out super soft. It's so awesome. So uh, my main answering, of, the thing I want to answer is you have to, you kind of need to use all three. Um, you don't see where I only use one, right? It, unless I'm just starting. Like some of the groomers out there running their business asking me questions about the product. I'm like, just get one at a time. Don't go severely into debt, you know. Go one at a time. And then it, also let me, let me go on the business aspect of that. If you're a groomer and you're using the product, I would increase your, it would be an option. I can do this shampoo, smell, or I can do this shampoo, smell, and then the increase is $2.50 to do this pet silk shampoo because it costs a lot more and it's it's gonna leave your coat a little softer than this one. And the smell's gonna last a little longer. And then now you're gonna add conditioner. So you're gonna do the same thing. Well, would you like to upgrade? So now it's five bucks for shampoo and conditioner on the pet silk. Me, I, d I probably can say, when I first started, I did the same thing. There was a menu, right? They got to circle whatever they wanted. Pet, I didn't do pet silk shampoo at the time, but I would do like oatmeal shampoo or this or that, you know, all these things. And I would give them options and they can do like, like you went and ordered a meal, right? All these little options and then add that to your groom price. And then later I just decided to have a, uh, just a higher rate and just do everybody like that. So everybody gets pet silk shampoo. Everybody gets pet silk conditioner. We just do everybody like that. And the rate is just higher. You know, so I'm not asking you to do all this and that, this and that. There's a few things I will. Pets Life gel on the teeth, that's an increase. Um, teeth brushing, stuff like that's an increase. Anal glands is an increase because the tr there's training involved and exp experience. Then um, what else is there? There are a few increase. It, ear flushing on a uh, severely infected ear, there's an increase because you're using different products to get that done. Flea charges, so there's increases on different things. but. I would just say, hey, you later, you know, do your menu now. Do you add, you're gonna buy expensive shampoo, add it to your menu uh, for clients to choose. And then once you pay off, you know, once you get to a point where, okay, I'm gonna raise my prices, maybe switch it out. And then you don't offer that. You just say, look, this is what, this is what we use. Now you wanna go, do you wanna buy a 16 ounce bottle for home? That's where you incorporate that. So just some shampoo answers to Flynn, the end of Flynn's video. Um, he's just hanging out here. He's such a good boy. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Thanks for buying him with me and trusting me and my judgment when you need help. I thank you. I appreciate you all so much. Thanks. Bye.